today. Great. Okay. Well, I'm hoping that I can help relax you a bit today and help you calm down. So, I just have some questions, you know. Um, I know that we, we've met before, but I just have a little bit of questions about, you know, your stress levels and what you do to kind of fix your stress. Mm-hmm. So, I need to just think about what is, you know, your goal when you leave here. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. Would you like anything to drink? Any coffee, tea, water, soda? You're okay? Well, if you would like anything at all during this time, please let me some things that we're going to learn today. Um, I'm going to teach you how you can track your stress. So, stress might affect your body um, differently. So, how do you feel like you react to stress? Okay, so you're gonna write down your date and your time. Your 
stress level. What were you doing and what were you thinking, okay? And then next we're gonna come in. I want you to bring this because we're gonna take a look at it together and we're gonna see when you get stressed and if there are things that trigger your stress. Okay. So when you think about your stressors, just think about what are some things that might trigger your stress. stress you out and think is this important to me and is this under my control okay. so when you think about changing jobs is that important to you yeah and is that under your control it is yeah so um okay when you think about you know with family or friends. Do you think that's important to you? And is it under your control? Somewhat, yeah. So, if you said they're not important to you, let them go. They're not worth your stress. They cause. So, take some time to address those stressors that you feel are important, that you have at least some control. I'm glad we got those. Yes. Okay. So what I want to do now is I just want to go through some of your maybe stress symptoms with you, okay? And we'll see how you're feeling. So when you find your body responds to stressors, you can focus on your attention on finding the best, best stress management techniques for each one. So we're going to look at the symptoms that you're feeling, okay? Do you ever get a backache? Okay. Um, change in sex drive? Okay. Chest pain? Chest tightness? Digestive issues? General muscle tension? Headache? Heart problems? Fatigue? Lack of energy? Okay. Muscle cramps? Neck, shoulder pain? Just pain in general, sleep problems, smoking, teeth grinding, upset stomach or nausea, blaming, depression, anxiety, forgetfulness, lack of motivation, loneliness, sadness, crying, eating when not hungry, Frustration, irritability, anger, restlessness, worrying. Okay. Alright, so some of these symptoms can indicate a medical problem, so rather than stress. So if these are very, very severe, I would go talk to your doctor right away. Okay. Michael. 
goal for you this week is to really um, be more mindful of your feelings, okay? Um, and when you do feel triggered by stress, make sure that you're feeling more aware of that. Mm -hmm. So when you're doing that, I want you to recognize what's going on and acknowledge what is happening in the body and in the mind. So how do you feel? What are the thoughts that are in your head? Okay. And thinking, what is going on here? in a compassionate, mindful way. Notice what is going on when you feel this way. And then just accept it. What you're feeling is what you feel, okay? And the thing, you're always going to be feeling something. It will go away, but you just have to accept the unpleasant, the pleasant, you know, and the neutral feelings. Just remember, keep going. It will go away. Feelings come and go. And then I want you to start looking into your feelings closer, okay? So, notice how it feels in the body if you're feeling stressed. Well, how does it feel? What is your heart doing? What is your brain doing? What is, do you have a headache? Are you feeling pain? Are you feeling anxious? Okay. And, you know, what does the energy feel like? And I'm going to think, how long does the feeling last? Okay. So, when you're thinking about How do you feel after it's passed? And then feelings, you know, feelings are really tight of like weather patterns. So they arise and they pass. They are not you. And they don't define you. So thinking and saying something like, right now I'm feeling this and there are many other people just like me feeling this. Many have come before me who have felt this feeling. So just being more aware of your feelings, how long do they last, you know, what does your body feel like when you're feeling those ways. So, I have a little bit of homework for you. It is just really start, you know, being aware of how you feel, okay? So you're going to be thinking about one pleasant event that happened to you this week. You're gonna report back to me. And you're gonna think, what was the experience? How did your body feel? Okay. And what were your emotions? You know, what were your thoughts? Okay. And then you're gonna think of an unpleasant event report. So same thing. What was the experience? How did your body feel? And what were the emotions? And then you're gonna have a pleasant communication report. So you're gonna think about positive conversation that you have with someone. How did it make you feel? And what were your emotions? What were your thoughts? Okay. And then one unpleasant communication. Okay, so what were you talking to? How did you feel? What were your thoughts? Okay, so you need to do one pleasant event, one pleasant communication, one unpleasant event, and one unpleasant communication. Okay, so I really want you to report back. And then I just have some questions. Um, do you feel like you um, eat wisely? Okay. Are you physically active? Okay. Do you are you tobacco free? Are you um, do you limit alcohol? Do you get screening tests and um, you know you're involved in your health? Okay. And then um, do you feel like you manage stress well? <laughs> and do you feel like you're safe? You make good choices. Okay. Okay, so what I want you to do right now is I need to think of when you're feeling stressed, what's something pleasant that you can do? So going for a bike ride, sitting outside, you know, the weather's nice. Taking a warm bath, calling an old friend, fishing, boating, or going to a marina. Okay, yeah, those are all really good. Um, watching sports. Those are all good things. You want to find things that really help you get your mind off your stress, help you calm down from that 
stress. Okay. So, the uh, next thing that you come, we're gonna really look into the tools for managing your stress. But what I want you to do this week is just really find examples of when you get stressed and when you are feeling very triggered. 